For over a decade of zombies easter eggs, here are the 20 greatest easter eggs in Call of Duty Zombies history. And we're kicking off this video with Shadows of Evil with the Lil Arnie upgrade. In this map, we were introduced to the greatest version of the monkey bomb yet, the Lil Arnie. And if you got 150 kills with this on the map, you could begin a very simple but very rewarding easter egg to upgrade them. After hitting the kill requirement, there's going to be three places around the map where you want to throw down a Lil Arnie. The first is going to be inside of Nero's lair underneath this mannequin head who has has a top hat and you'll see the top hat will disappear and if we make our way to the boxing gym and on this shelf we'll see that there is a bow tie we're going to throw another one down there and last but no means least we're going to go to the burlesque and throw this one by the sofa to pick up a cane and with all three of those items disappeared go into the burlesque and throw a little arnie in front of the stage and witness this incredible moment where the little arnie is dancing with the top hat and the cane with four floating gate worms with the incredible snakeskin boots music and once that comes to an end you now have upgraded little Arnie's, which can last a lot longer, do more damage, and have purple goo instead of the green goo. The introductions of the Apothecons made for some very weird stuff in Call of Duty Zombies, but this is by far one of the standout. And this video is going to be looking over not only just the main Easter egg quests, but side Easter eggs like that. How can we talk about the 20 greatest Easter eggs without mentioning Black Ops 1's Moon Easter Egg as one of the truly greatest Easter eggs that Zombies has ever seen, even 11 years later? Some absolute standout moments from this Easter egg include playing as Richtofen, we have to type into a computer for a very long time with some very funny dialogue, having to fill up all four of the soul canisters around the MPD with that incredible moment where Samantha Maxis was revealed for the first time in game, where you're granted a 90 second death machine, which pays homage to the Ascension Easter egg reward. And then of course, the finale of the Easter egg blowing up the earth. Like for real, there's hardly been any zombies maps that have been able to match how epic an ending this is. Storyline in this map is just absolutely incredible. It's such a unique map as well. And this Easter egg is just the cherry on top. But if we're talking about the Easter egg greats, then we can't go without mentioning Darius and Drax Easter egg as well, as I would say it's probably one of the most perfect Easter eggs we've had in Zombies. It's the first Triarch Zombies map to have a true full-on boss fight. And again, it has some incredible storyline moments, such as sending the Dempsey rocket back down to Earth, having the golden rod, filling up the Keeper with the bows, and the ending, which we ironically enough blew up the moon this time rather than the Earth, which was just amazing to see having this map coexisting with Moon, but then completely flipping it on its head by having a parallel ending. And that ending cutscene laid the stage for some really emotional storytelling throughout Black Ops 3 and was done perfectly. Moving on to our fourth Easter egg. And this is without a doubt one of my favorite Easter eggs of all time in Call of Duty Zombies, bar none. And it's the Space Dog Easter egg on Moon. Now, the reason why it's one of my favorite Easter eggs of all time is because it pays homage to the beginnings of the Zombies community and the content creator space for Zombies on YouTube. During the original release of Moon in Black Ops 1, my friend MC Sportshawk, who I'm sure you all know as a fellow Zombies creator, posted a video on a very popular myth on Moon about there being a space dog at round 50. Now, this did not exist. However, Treyarch leaned into this and created a brand new Easter egg just for the Chronicles version of Moon, where there is actually a space dog. The steps to complete this Easter egg are pretty easy, but they are extremely vague, and I don't know how anyone found this back in the day. But it's a combination of different things ending up with a soul collection by this dog bowl and when you hear the woof and the bark if you look outside the map for about two minutes you'll see the space dog roaming across the moon's surface and this is such a cool easter egg because the dog is so beautifully detailed like Treyarch really went to town making sure that this thing really lived up to the legends that it was it's got that unique dog astronaut outfit with Treyarch logos he's got the helmet he's even got a ray gun chew toy in his helmet it's just those little details like that is why I love this so much. Next Easter egg in this video is going to be the ghost and skulls Easter eggs for our every map in Infinite Warfare Zombies. This was an arcade machine where you featured as the player and you needed to clear skulls with the Entangler Wonder Weapon. Now across all five Zombies maps for this game, which had different Easter egg quests, which gained you access to the ghost and skulls mini game, where if you completed it, you were given all perks on the map. Now considering that the whole game was themed around the seven the 80s and the 90s this feels right at home with the theming of the game and is really really cool as it's a game within a game if you remember doing these back when this game first came out these easter eggs are tough they are without question harder than the main easter eggs for some of these maps but have a really good reward and the final process is really really fun and we can't talk about the greatest easter eggs and zombies without talking about one of the best endings that we've had in a zombies map and i'm putting mob of the dead's ending in this video because 
because it was the first and only time inside of zombies where we had the tables turned and we can actually kill one of the players within the game. Right at the end, the person playing as Weasel will have a kill marker on their head where all the players in the game need to try and kill the Weasel and the Weasel has to try and kill all the other players. It's something we've never seen in zombies since and it's such a unique part of the Easter egg. It deserves its own spot here in this video. Now, this next Easter egg is an absolute standout for just being one of the most bizarre things in zombies. And this is the spider bait Easter egg on Zetsubono Shima, where you can genuinely play as a spider inside of Call of Duty Zombies. It is absolutely bonkers and completely unnecessary but the fact that they added an easter egg in where you can play as a spider and attack zombies and roam around the map is so bizarre we never saw it since but this is without doubt one of the greatest easter eggs in zombies due to how bizarre it is there were plans to play as a chicken in revelations but that never happened and we've never seen anything since so i hope treyarch are listening and we can play as another creature at some point in zombies next easter egg in this video will take us back to Mob of the Dead for the Golden Spork, which is such a cool Easter egg process. It's a great piece of storytelling as well and gives us one of the strongest melee weapons that Zombies has ever seen. Now, in order to get the Golden Spork, you had to start off with the spoon, which you had to get by throwing your Hell's Retriever at a poster in a jail cell, which would reveal a secret compartment which you could go in afterlife. You'd chuck a spoon and then you'd have to go and throw your tomahawk at another spoon in order to get it. It, but to get the golden spork you had to put your spoon in this bathtub of blood and then get 50 to 70 kills in the showers using the acid gap once you got it you'd hear a samantha laugh you then go back to the bathtub and you would stir the blood and out would pop the golden spork technically this is the second most powerful melee weapon in the entirety of zombies only behind the upgraded one inch punch in origins this is a one knife melee attack until round 35 which is really strong. However, since Black Ops 2, Triarch has had tradition of throwing in jump scare Easter eggs, but this one is without doubt the best, and it's obviously the last gen Richtofen jump scare on Classified. Now, for years up until the release of this game, last gen Richtofen became a internet meme, and Triarch wanted to cement that meme forever inside of the actual game, and so we genuinely got this jump scare on Classified. Now, there's no relevance to last gen Richtofen on Classified. They literally done it for the heck of it and the community absolutely loved it and that's why i'd put it up there as one of the best jump scares but i would say it is just as good as the zetsubo no shima jump scare which is more of a doppelganger of a character hidden around the map that will just jump out at you at the halfway mark the next easter egg we're going to be talking about is the ancient evils easter egg the final map in the chaos storyline there's just so many good points about this easter egg you're upgrading all of these gauntlets which are all really awesome and they aren't too difficult to do there's a midway cutscene if you're playing as bruno or diego where you have a massive plot twist reveal there's one of the greatest steps in zombies being the know your mark step which is just such an enjoyable and intense step it also has a two-phase boss fight which is really cool and again super unique locations for all of this and the ending cutscene, which was several minutes long, containing some very juicy storyline. And it's overall just a real joy of a map to play and a really fun Easter egg to do as well. And we've already had a few iconic Easter eggs already so far in this video, but one of them that has to be one of the 20 greatest is the Coffin Dance Easter egg on Dear Machina. In the year 2020, the Coffin Dance meme was going super, super viral. And out of nowhere, Treyarch decided to add this in as a funny Easter egg in order to guarantee yourself to get the juggernog perk as well as a chance of a really good upgraded weapon when this was first discovered people genuinely could not believe that this was a thing that was actually happening inside of the zombies map it's just so bizarre so funny so different to what trioc have done before it's absolutely hilarious now if we're having a video talking about zombies easter eggs we got to talk about one of the greatest rewards for easter eggs ever seen which is director's cut in infinite warfare zombies it's a feature that was awarded upon completing all five easter eggs there's a whole new way to experience the zombies mode where upon spawning in you're given several special rewards such as all perks permanently 25,000 points all weapons in the magic wheel a pack a punch the wonder weapons can be found inside the magic wheel alien fuses are automatically installed in the pack machine so you can pack a punch twice and director's cut changes the map's respective easter eggs slightly if you complete those 
Easter eggs a second time in Director's Cut, you're rewarded a special calling card and a larger XP bonus. This is without question the greatest super Easter egg reward that we have ever seen and probably will ever get in a game. Zombies fans have wanted nothing but a return of this in Treyarch games for rewards for completing all the Easter eggs and we still haven't seen it, but it goes to show how in tune Infinity Ward were with the Zombies community for what wants and rewards they wanted and just how much they loved their mode. And that goes hand in hand with our next Easter egg, which is the Mephistopheles boss fight on the Beast From Beyond. You could only access this by beating all previous maps, Easter eggs, and the Beast From Beyond within the game to get to this super Easter egg boss fight. And what made this boss fight so unique is by how truly difficult this thing is. Now, a lot of people complain about certain things and zombies being too difficult, but I think this is one of those moments where it is incredibly rewarding and a genuine achievement if you can beat this boss fight. Infinity Ward designed this boss to keep you on your toes with the space being intentionally small with little to no cover. I'd easily say this is the hardest boss fight in zombies history, but it's a very rewarding one if you take the time to master it. Now, if we're going over the 20 greatest Easter eggs in all the zombies, we gotta go all the way back to the beginning to the legendary hide and seek easter egg on Doris. One of the first major Easter eggs we've seen in Zombies is a classic pack a punch your weapon, shoot the panel out the map, and you're going to play a game of hide and seek with Samantha where you're shooting three teddy bears hidden around the map. Now, there is no reward that you get at the end of this apart from just some quotes from Samantha, but this was at a moment where the Zombies storyline was just so full of mystery that people lapped this up. If you started with Zombies back in World at War, anyone that you ask will, of course, remember remember this easter egg because it's just so iconic and i'd also add in throwing the monkey bomb in the furnace along with this because again it's just such a cool detail to get a quote and more added mystery to the map with these small subtle easter eggs now this next easter egg is a rather recent addition to zombies only in the last year or so but it's such a cool easter egg we gotta throw it on here as the forsaken perkaholic easter egg this easter egg involves spawning in a really creepy mannequin which is very akin to Enderman in the same way where if he gets too close to you he kills you there's moments where your visions turn into like this static black and white like an old tv and the final step involves you shooting multiplications of this mannequin whilst in your tombstone soda who's who state and if you complete this easter egg and then revive yourself you will come back with all perks and it's the only way to get a perkaholic inside of cold war zombies back in the early 2010s slender man was a very popular part of video game culture it really suits being being in the setting of Call of Duty Zombies. So to see Triac actually add this in as a really well hidden Easter egg, I think it's really cool and definitely deserves to be on this list. Now, another iconic Easter egg quest in all of Zombies history has to be on the map nine. There are so many elements to this Easter egg, which I believe put this in one of the 20 greatest. We have an amazing set where we have an infinite specialist, which I just think is super, super fun and cool. But you feel like an absolute champion being able to use this super powerful weapon and just take out loads and loads of enemies in one go and the boss fight finale with not one but two elephants is just absolutely fantastic this easter egg is definitely a little bit tedious and a little bit difficult for those that aren't used to this sort of easter egg but i think it's a fantastic one and the map itself is a pleasure to play which makes the easter egg even more fun but this could not be a 20 greatest easter eggs video without talking about the goat of course origins the easter egg on origins is just an absolute adventure and it's one of the most iconic easter eggs in all of zombies history and one of the greatest maps in zombies history this was the very first easter egg in zombies where it really felt like a huge grand quest there's just so many elements to this easter egg which are very memorable to a lot of people the fact that each of the steps as well is named after the steps from vorkuta is absolutely fantastic i love it when we have all of those panzers spawning in it's always really exhilarating when it comes to doing that step there's no doubts about it this easter egg is seriously iconic it really set the tone and the bar for where easter egg quests went going forwards now this next one is a really vague one which i doubt many of you actually are aware of but i'm putting it in here as one of the greatest because it is one of the craziest easter eggs to hide within a map 
and it's a controller vibration cipher on Voyage of Despair. Now, when Black Ops 4 was a thing, Jason Blundell gave some hints on 115 Day on what his favorite Easter egg was. And all he gave a mention to is that it was something involving the rumble of a controller. Now, apparently Jason has wanted to hide something in zombies for many years now that involved you having to work something out via the vibration of a controller. And if you come down to this specific section of the ship in Voyage of Despair, there is going to be different vibration fields on these different panels. Now, thanks to Glitching Queen, who solved this a long time ago, she made an incredible video that showcased that there was a secret message written in Braille in this section of the map that you could only work out by using the vibrations of your controller to work out the specific parts of the Braille language. Once fully decoded, the cipher message was essentially just a foreshadowing of what was to come inside of the Chaos story. This is the sort of Easter egg which I doubt they expected anyone to ever figure out. And it is incredibly smart. This video is not only going over just like main Easter egg quests, but side ones. And this is one of the sneakiest Easter eggs ever hidden inside of a zombies map in plain sight. We're getting the end here but our second to last one is going to be the Targ der Toten easter egg. Some of you might be quite surprised by this one into the greatest easter eggs list but I'm putting it here because the finale where you're in that bubble and you have to traverse around the map that's been transformed into a lava ridden hellscape is so exhilarating every single time you play it especially when you get to that final moment in the facility where the bubble is getting smaller and smaller and smaller it's just an absolutely adrenaline pumping moment. It's also the final easter egg where we hear directly from our Aoife characters and there's some very amazing story moments where we hear heartfelt conversations between them that we've never heard before. Easter egg itself isn't complex by any means, it's pretty simple and easy to do. I feel it incorporates every feature of the map really nicely such as the wonder weapon needed for certain steps and the different areas you need to go to and of course the heartbreaking finale of the Aoife storyline inside of this map as well. Now we're on to the final easter egg in the greatest zombies easter eggs but before we jump into it there has to be some honorable mentions otherwise this video would have been so much longer we would have had definitely more than 20 so some honorable mentions of easter eggs here is going to be the voyage of despair shield upgrade as there's one moment in it where there is a flying car flying around the map with a skeleton as the driver it's a huge reference to a classic british musical from the 1960s called chitty chitty bang bang which also features a flying car which is a massive reference here in this easter egg back in the day people thought the easter egg was literally just to get this flying car they did not even realize that at the end this was all about getting an upgrade to the shield where you had to set off some fireworks to hit the car and that would be the final step for the shield upgrade another honorable mention is going to be the helmets and masks on revelations because they just added so much utility to the map and really challenge you to do a lot of things within the map and rewarding you with something that made you super super powerful great examples are the apothecan mask the helmet of the king the keeper skull head and the margo head where you got some really really cool additional perks such as having an extra juggernaut kit getting even faster stamina doing more damage against enemies it was just a really cool thing for them to add several mentions of easter requests which were very close to making it in this list were going to be gorod Crovy because the scale of that easter egg was fantastic very difficult but fantastic as well as the boss fight being great dead of the night as well for having a really really fun easter egg although some of the steps are very frustrating to the point where i wouldn't put it as one of the greatest because there's no fun looking around for scratches around the map others of evil's easter egg is also very close to being here in this top 20 list now with the totems easter egg in cold war zombies is surprisingly a very very good easter egg and easily the best easter egg on that game likewise with the legion boss fight on the outbreak first easter egg i don't think some of the steps are overly amazing but once you get into that facility the easter egg is really enjoyable and that boss fight like mephistopheles is really intense and i really appreciate and like it for that reason call of the dead easter egg and black ops one is also incredibly iconic because
because it was one of the very first Easter eggs added into Zombies and also the very first soloable Easter egg quest. There were a few steps that really needed some serious brain power in order to solve, such as the different dials and the lighthouse, as well as the order in which you crank the front of the boat, shooting down a frozen bottle of vodka for Nikolai. It's a really fun one with a reward being a death machine or the Wonder Waffa. I'd also throw in Shangri-La as another honorable mention for its Easter egg quest because it is a slightly difficult Easter egg, especially since you need to have it with four players. There's a lot to it. it can be quite frustrating, but it's definitely an iconic Easter egg for those that have been doing them since the very beginning and involves a ton of the unique parts of that map. The Mob of the Dead jump scare is also an honorable mention as it was the very first jump scare we've had in Zombies. I wouldn't say it is the best, but it's definitely up there because it's an OG jump scare. And last honorable mention is going to be the secret Easter egg on Tog Der Toten because it's Treyarch's way of confirming a fan theory for many, many years that Shangri-La might actually be set on Mars. It's a bizarre Easter egg that has no real point to it, but it really has a shroud of mystery to it, which we hadn't really seen before since like the days of like Darice with the fly trap. Coming in as the final greatest zombies Easter egg of all time is going to be the final parts of the Blood of the Dead Easter egg. Now, I'm someone that really doesn't enjoy doing the Easter egg because I feel like the steps are very tedious, very difficult, but the storytelling in this map and the last few parts of this Easter egg are some of the greatest storytelling that Treyarch Zombies has ever seen and I believe ever will. We as the player awake within a jail cell inside of Alcatraz whilst the warden begins his torment and explaining this massive story twist of what's going on. And we're led to believe that we're going to be trapped in here forever. But then of course we get Owl, the weasel from Mob of the Dead that releases us in his bird form and we sneak our way over back to the spawn for the main boss fight. Now, the actual fight itself isn't anything remotely special, but it's the fact that during it, we have uh, something completely thrown on our heads where the Richtofen player suddenly has to sacrifice themselves and is reborn as a different version of Richtofen. And then we have the most emotional, incredible cutscene that we've ever had in Treyarch Zombies. It's an absolute masterpiece. And I'll be very shocked if Treyarch will ever be able to have something that is as equal, if not more emotional than what we have during this Easter egg ending. I wish that overall the design of the Easter egg was a lot easier, less tedious than what it is, but players have recently discovered secrets that Treyarch have added into the maps, which makes steps a little bit easier so you don't have to guess so much. And that definitely makes makes the easter egg a lot more enjoyable overall it's definitely a challenge and it has an amazing ending if you feel i've left any easter eggs out please let me know your thoughts on them in the comments below you can check out another greatest easter eggs on your screen right now if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe and leave a like and i'll see you for another one soon